Got it. Hello, peeps. Today is what? Uh, April 26th, Sunday. And today I'm, we're going to, well, I'm going to do a video. We're going to do a video on, and I was thinking about a title. I consider this to be like a life skill, you know, exercise and health. And there's all different forms that you can go about to get there, or whatever your journey is. But my thing was like, I always felt like I had to go to a gym because the thing that I always said, which was absolutely incorrect now that I've been doing it, but I was like, I can't work out at home. I can't be successful working out at home. I was like, I got to go somewhere. And um, I thought that for a really, really long time. And in 2018, I moved to another county, another side of town. I sold my house, bought another house. And I was actually working out with um, a trainer. He worked at a facility. He has a degree. I think it's physio. I can't remember the name of the degree, but he actually has a degree in fitness. And, you know, I loved him. He helped prepare me to do my missions trips, um, like strength, exercising, endurance, things like that. But, you know, having a personal trainer can be expensive. So, and then I moved to a different side of town. So my commute became longer and it just wasn't worth it for me to get up even earlier than when I was getting up, spend more money, spend more time in tra traffic. I live in Atlanta. I live in the surrounding city. So traffic, well, before COVID-19 was horrible. Now it's like awesome. <laughs> but um so i just um I, I was in january and i was like god i can't do this anymore i can't drive all over town to go work out because i was working out with him and then i had joined a little spin class club but they were all so far apart i was spending my time in traffic and car and in the car and i was tired and i'm like i just didn't want to do that anymore and then um one of my friends which she's here with me today, so we've been friends since we we knew each other in high school but we didn't really start becoming close until college um she was already doing beach body on demand um i think she was already a coach too and i had seen her probably the whole year before that doing her workouts online and i was just like you know what i have to try something different um and then i signed up in january of 2018 and that's what I've been doing um, ever since. I, I, I was the person that said I could not work out at home. I was one of those people like I'll never do it because I had tried before and it just was an absolute failure. But I have been um, more so because I started in 2019, January, and now we're in 2020. Um, I was consistent with working out in the beginning and then I kind of fell off and got back on and fell off. But I think, I believe now I can safely say that I am in it for the long haul. Um, I love it. I love the accountability of the ladies in the group. They're so supportive, so encouraging. Um, you can look absolutely crazy and they just give you the best compliments. <laughs> so. What? Yeah, I love it. Um, I love doing it on the app. There are so many, you have access to so many different workouts. So it's awesome. So I'm going to turn it over to Melissa and we're just going to talk about um, reaching or just being able to do what you thought you couldn't do online, doing everything, all your workouts online and, and not having to go to the gym, get in the car, traffic. And then too, this is actually less expensive than having a gym membership. And, and I can, or a trainer, because for a trainer in a week was what I paid for the whole year for Beachbody. So, so Melissa, Melissa has always been athletic as long as I can remember. She was always playing some kind of sport, running. So she, to me, you've always been super fit, I would say, in my eyes, or you were just... <laughs> into fitness, always doing something for your health. So how did you, how did you switch over? Because I remember that you, I know you did, you do 5Ks too. You ran a lot. What, how, what made you do the transition to online to Beachbody? Um, so prior to Beachbody, I actually belonged to like several different gyms. And the main thing I would do at the gym is just run 
I really didn't know much about weights, but I knew that I wanted to do them. Um, I actually had gotten a trainer and like you said, I was paying so much more for a trainer. They got me at the, oh, 10 to $20 a month membership, or you pay 20, you bring a friend. Um, my trainer, I probably saw like a couple of times a week or a month, and I was paying over two hundred dollars yes um and we didn't really have a nutrition guide or anything like that so i it kind of i kind of lost interest i guess you could say um and i really enjoy running outdoors as opposed to inside a gym and that and i would go for like this zumba class or you know that kind of stuff but if i missed it i missed it i couldn't make up that class um and at that time when i was at the gym um, my son was maybe two and I would from work have to go past the gym, <laughs> go pick him up from a daycare and then take him home to feed him really quick and hopefully pray that I would make it to the next class. And then I would drop him off in another daycare because my husband's schedule was just kind of like all over the place. Um, so eventually I was like, okay, one, I can't keep putting out $200 a month and not getting the results that I wanted. So I quit the gym um, and I would just get up extra early and just run and kind of watch what I was eating. It was mostly just like salad. So it got kind of boring, so then I would quit that. And I was like, well, as long as I run, I'm good, not a big deal. Um, and then one of, like, one of my friends during that time, she kind of just reached out. And at that time, Beachbody was um, DVDs and yeah i ordered one i got my shake i'm like okay great but i never had anyone to check in with me and stuff like that so i fell off of that bandwagon um so then in august 2017 uh one of the girls that i used to teach with reached out she's like oh i love your running post you know da, 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 da. and you know we were friends already and then one day she had asked me oh you should do this i'm like yeah that's not for me i'm not gonna work out at home Thinks I'm more of a runner, uh, walking. Um, you know, I enjoy taking my son in the stroller, whatever. Um, at that time, I'd been doing like the 10K, and then I had run. I ran a half marathon, so that's kind of where I was, my mindset. And then I started seeing some of her posts, and I was like, hmm, okay. So then it was probably two or three times. Um, we had conversations and she would ask me again. <laughs> and finally, one day I just said, you know what? I have the money. Why not try it? So I did it and I did the loyalty program and I was like all about the discounts, not really into like the coaching thing like she was doing. Um, so I signed up for the loyalty program just so I could get the, you know, 25% off. And I was like, okay, I, pr I probably, I'm probably going to do this for two or three months and I'm probably going to quit this too. Um, but what made it different was that she actually checked in on me. She was, you know, weekly, sometimes even daily. Then we had like an accountability group. And, um, so I just picked a program. The first program I did was the 21 day fix because I needed, to, I needed to focus on the nutrition. Oh, and it's all, all about, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And, um, and 21 days is really 21 days. It's mm -hmm. not just the name of the program. Um, and it really pushed me to focus on the nutrition. Um, so yeah, so there were days I was like, well, I'm eating a salad. Why am I not losing weight? Well, sometimes it can be too much salad. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that. And, you know, when I saw these little containers, I was like, what the heck am I going to do with all of these cute rainbow containers? Um, and so I started playing with it and making my salads I'm like it doesn't look like a lot but then once I put it in my in my bowl or my plate it was like oh I really was eating too much salad uh, I've even changed my salad dressing to red wine vinegar versus the ranch I was always doing or the Italian I still and, love ranch I struggle with yeah, that every now and then I still get sometimes my stomach doesn't like it but I really like the red wine vinegar because I also use, um, I'll use it in my wrap. I take what I would put in a salad, like with the chicken and stuff, and I just roll it up and, you know, put it in there. Um, 
but yeah, so basically, you know, I switched over to Beachbody because there was more accountability. Um, it was a lot cheaper. And most importantly, I didn't have to put my son in another daycare. I, he could nap and I could make my class. Um, and I could still go run or walk if I wanted to because my son could go with me in the stroller. I had like a runner stroller. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other thing that really got me was the recipes that I had access to. It actually had ingredients. A lot of the recipes have ingredients that I can pronounce. I know where to find <laughs> it in the grocery store. And it's actually pushed me out of my comfort zone because I was really the boring girl with salads, just changing the meats. And it was like, oh, wait, did you say that I could still have pasta or I could have a sandwich or this or that? Oh, Philly cheesesteaks? I'm sold. And um, what was also important was because, you know, I have a family, we're a family of four, I didn't really have to change uh, what I was already buying. It was more of how do I use the ingredients? How do I use the other products that I already have without breaking the bank account? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you switch over to programs and I'm not downing anything because things work for different people. So um, please understand, you know, I'm not doing or bashing. It's more of those programs didn't work for me. So this program allowed me to still kind of eat what I wanted to eat, but in moderation. And yes, when we start a program, it's all about, well, if you really want it, you're going to do it. Or you should know that you shouldn't have six slices of pizza or whatever. Um, Like we all know that we tell ourselves that we know that, but once we're there, we're like, Oh yeah, I really want those three slices of pizza. Um, or two, you know, two plates of spaghetti. What I've enjoyed is, you know, the recipes still, I can still celebrate or have taco night with my family and they don't even realize that I'm not using the packages, you know, for the seasonings and stuff. I'm making my own because that's one of the recipes that comes in my library of recipes. Um, so it has really changed my mindset about what, um, what I'm eating. Um, cause I know in the past I would do things. I'm like, well, I can't have that. I can't have that. I can't have that. And that would last for maybe a month. And then when I finally, Oh, let me go have that carb or this. And I would gain not only what I lost, but I would gain more on top of that. So at that point I was very discouraged. So I have to be honest, like it, this may not work for everyone, but it's worked for me and it's worked for some of my friends and some of my friends have done, you know, started Beachbody um, and they've added some other things that to help them because mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer that everybody has their own story. Everybody has um, their own reason for doing or starting their journey. Um, I, and every story is different so my results are not going to be the same as my friend Kamisha's or um, the girl next door Um, some people honestly do the programs not even to lose weight just to have something to do some people do it to gain muscle to gain weight because they're they feel like they're too skinny or they don't have enough muscles me obviously I'm someone that I need to and I want to and I have the desire to um lose the weight um the inches and I, i'm the first to say that i used to be the girl that got upset with the scale because i'm like what the heck i ate well for a week or two weeks and i'm like i should have more yeah, um, like this morning. better results <laughs> and, but what i've learned honestly in the last few months and i've been doing beach body for almost two and a half years um i wasn't always consistent because, you know, I, I went through a period where I was in a car accident, so I lost the option to work out for almost eight months. And honestly, I found myself in my feelings, and I was just like, oh, I'm just going to eat that Oreo or four Oreos or whatever, whatever it was at that time. And um, now that I'm able to work out again, which wasn't until August or September, really, of 2019, because I had surgery last summer because of my accident, I start to realize, okay, I am getting older. I do have a son that wants me and needs me and I want to be around to see him. Um, 
do things in life. And I'll, I'll be honest, sometimes when he does things, I'm tired. I'm like, I don't know if I can keep up with him. And, you know, um, it's hard. And in the last, I don't know, I guess from August until now, I've had so much more time to reflect on my life and my journey. And I have to, I was um, thinking, okay, I have all these goals and I would make this long list. And honestly, if it wasn't for Beachbody, I wouldn't have read certain books. Um, I have what's called PD, professional development. And one of the books that I'm reading, it talks about how you make these lists, January 1, I want to lose 50 pounds. I want to do this. I want to fly around the world. I want to do this. And the question you should really be asking yourself is, how do you want to feel? If you want to feel stronger, what are you going to do to get you to that feeling? If you want to be more confident in life, professionally or just personally, or you want to be stronger emotionally, spiritually, whatever, what are you going to do to get there? So what I did differently was this time, and um, I'm more of, I want to feel stronger. I want to be confident. I want to be healthier, not just for me, but for my family, for my son, mm -hmm. um, you know, who just turned seven. So he still has a long way to go and he deserves to have a mom as long as, you know, God's willing. I'm, I'm, I want to be able to give him that life and do things with my, uh, energized seven year old um, who's also into sports and stuff too. So I have to be the example for him. But one of the things that I read, you know, in this book, it says it's all about how you want to feel. Don't overwhelm yourself with goals. And that's what I used to do when I was at the gym, but I had nobody coaching me or mentoring me to say, um, you know, cause we'd have conversations, but it wasn't something that would stick with me. And so when certain books were suggested for me as a coach, I was like, well, maybe I should read it. And I have to be honest, I have to be the first to say, from August, September of 2019 to now, this is like really the first time in my journey where I feel like the results are happening. And yeah, I was to a point where, oh, my scale doesn't say anything. But what I noticed is how I felt in my pants, yeah. in my shirt, or like one day I walked by the mirror and I'm like, whoa, is that me? <laughs> um, and just yesterday I was, <laughs> I was on a walk and, you know, I had made this video and when I turned around in the video, I told myself, and I'm, normally I'm not this type of person, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I was like, wow, my hiney looks really good. Um, Bar and, blend. <laughs> and I have to like, you know, and, and Kamisha just mentioned Bar Blend, which is a ballet, low impact. And I was like, who wants to do bar? Like, I'm more of a cardio, I'm more of like, let's do some weights. But I'll tell you what, Bar Blend worked my hiney, literally. The booty workouts, your thighs everything and I'm so thankful for that because it's not something I would have tried if I belonged to a gym it wouldn't have been a class that I would have gone to no way I, yeah it was, not my, it was not my cup of tea but I will say being a part of Be the Beachbody community I've really stepped out of my comfort zone and so like I did bar I actually got to meet Elise which she was amazing and got to take a picture with her and um, actually got on the stage and did the sample workout for the, I don't even know how many people were in the audience. And, you know, it's not something I would have done. So to me, that was all about my confidence. And I wouldn't have picked um, the feeling of being confident if it wasn't for the book that I read that was suggested from my own coach. So when I got up on that stage in DC, I was like, who is this girl? Like my whole mindset, my, um, I, I guess my mindset really has really changed because I said yes to an opportunity that I was kind of bashing at first, um, not really interested, feeling better or a little bit more confident and stuff like that. You know, it, it really changed who I was as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, as a daughter. 
you know, and just being a, a, you know, a child of God, woman of God, I just realized, you know, I like the way I, how I feel. And, um, in the last year, I guess 10 months, maybe, you know, my family has experienced some really hard times as far as losses and, you know, one unexpectedly and one that we were really believing for something else. And that's not the outcome that we got. Um, but I will say like, you know, during one of my, when we lost my nephew, that, um, that was really hard unexpectedly. And I found myself working out and I was, you know, my workout is my controlled chaos. It's my happy place. And I remember after finishing the step workout, which I had a step in front of me with Shanti. And I remembered after that workout, I literally kneeled on my step crying, not because the workout was hard or any of that. It was, I had to release. I felt like my body was just carrying this pain and stuff, knowing what I was getting ready to face two hours later, you know, from my nephew. And I literally just cried. And I could have been the woman that didn't get out of bed early to work out. I could have stayed in my bed crying, but I remembered how it made me feel when I finished a workout, you know, so it's just a matter of pushing play. And probably three years ago, I probably would have just stayed in my bed. I would have just been, you know, would have felt sorry for myself. And I'm not saying that I didn't hurt. I'm not saying that the pain wasn't there. Um, but sometimes you have to find something that will help bring you the joy. And it's something that you can control. And, you know, life is life. There are things in life that we can't control. Obviously, the things that are going on right now, we can't control that. And we can control how we respond. And, um, oh, okay, sorry, my phone went okay. off. But I just, I'm finding through this journey, it's all about how I'm going to respond. I can sulk in my bed, in my bedroom and close the door, close out the world. Or I can make the choice to get up because I have the opportunity to get up every day. And every day that I put my feet on the ground, that is a blessing. That's one more day for me to be better than the day before. And maybe on Monday didn't work out well, but you know what? I'm going to get up on Tuesday and try again. So as long as I am breathing, as long as there is breath in me, I do have the opportunity to be better. Is it always easy? No. Are there days that I want to quit? Heck yeah. Are there days where I'm like, you know, I'm not getting the results that I want? Yeah. But I also have a son who is depending on me. And I can't be a good mom, a good mother, I mean, a good wife, sister, daughter, friend to anyone if I'm not taking care of me. And this opportunity has given me the time to reflect, to grow as a person spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And, um, and if I'm not taking care of that or me, I, I'm no good to anyone else. And I will say like, since starting this journey too, I never had a routine where there was reflection time, reading time, reading the word or reflecting on what I read in the word that morning. So, um, what I do is, you know, I get up extra early before everyone else in my house and I'll, you know, spend some time in the word, my daily de devotional, um, and I'll write. And, you know, and when I got off of that, like, I, was, I didn't like the way I was feeling, but I'm like, if I have the energy to get up and work out, I have the energy and the time to read the word, even if it's just 10 minutes or five minutes. And it's something I can go back to. Um, but doing that, not only because I'm still like a work in progress when it comes to my faith and stuff like that, but I told myself, well, if you're going to work out, you need to do the same for the word. And that's what I've done too. Uh, five years ago, three years ago, I wasn't. I didn't pick up a Bible. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. And I was like, I don't need that. Why do I need that? Just like I didn't need home workouts. 
but it is, it is a game changer for sure. And, um, it just, people laugh. Some people look at me, they're like, how are you like a coach? How are you work? How can you tell someone? And no, I'm not a zero size two, four, whatever, but I am a woman that wants more for myself. And if I can make a difference for just one person, then I'm on the right path to where I want to be. I mean, I work in a school system. I, I'm in education 19 years in. I'm always helping somebody. <laughs> I'm like, nice to years. all of our teachers. You, I mean, I don't have children at this point, but I, I have had to laugh at some of the posts that I see from my other friends <laughs> on social media because now you guys are getting the accolades and the appreciation that you should have been getting all along. <laughs> yes. And sometimes they're like, oh, we love teachers and this and that, and we're sorry and, you know, whatever. <laughs> and and I'll even say being an educator myself, teaching my son, some days I'm just like, I need to time out. You need a time out? I need a time out. We need to have a time out because this is not good. Um, so, yeah, I get it. But thankfully, you know, um, and I noticed on the days that I didn't work out before teaching him, my patience wasn't as great. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know this? What are you doing? Like, da, 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 da. Um, but I found last week when I was getting up earlier mm -hmm. and I had, like on Friday, I crushed a 5.30 workout. I chatted with my team. I had a cup of coffee. I read the word. I reflected. I had worship time. And all this was done before 8 a.m. And I showered, too, all before 8 a.m. And I cooked breakfast. And I'll tell you what, it made a difference in my day. Yes. And I honestly, if I didn't have this, the workouts and stuff, I really don't think I would have a routine. And especially during this time with the corona and all of that, um, in the beginning of this time being out of work, because they closed the schools, it was like, I don't need a routine. I don't have to get up at five anymore or four thirty. Like who cares? And I found myself kind of like slacking. I was still doing my workout, but it found, I found that it was being done later and I didn't like the way that I felt. Yeah. Um, but I, it's all about like what you want for yourself. And if you want to be good to everyone else, because most of us always want to help somebody else um, or someone else, you have to do for you first. So whether it's you finding time to spend reading the word or just reading some type of professional development for yourself or working out or even just cooking, you know, you have to find something that you can control yes. and enjoy. And it's not about being happy. It's all about finding joy. You have to find joy. You can be happy for two minutes. Exactly. But find, find something that brings you joy. And something, yeah, it's going to make you smile. It's going to make you happy. But only you can figure that out. And honestly, I'll be honest. Yeah, I did sports in high school. I did all of that. And I ran. I did 5K, 10Ks. I did a half marathon. But I never pictured myself at 41 being someone to share my physical fitness journey. Because I was always... Um, you know, I wasn't always the first girl picked for things. Um, and like I said, not being a, you know, a smaller size or having a six pack or whatever. I was like, who am I to inspire someone else? But taking my own experiences, my story um, and sharing it, you just never know who you're inspiring. And, you know, people who are not even doing the beach body with me they'll message me and say thank you I needed that or I've even had some people who I tried to get on board with me and they're like yeah I'm not gonna push play ah uh, yeah I'm not gonna work out at home kind of thing um but some of them have come back to me saying I really want to give this a chance um you know for example I had a lady yesterday as a matter of fact they um you know, as someone I've been talking to for a few months and she's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And you know, nothing. And yesterday she sends me a text saying, Hey, I, um, 
I really want to do this. What do I need to do? Yeah. So like, yeah. So I'm like, I'm sharing with her, like, okay, I'll do, you know, share card and all this stuff. And next thing I know, she's like, okay, I purchased. Like this was all within 30 minutes. Yay. And so, and she's someone that I met at church and, you know, and like two weeks ago, she was like, how are your workouts going? I'm like, oh yeah, she's going to sign up. And, you know, nothing came out of that. And, um, you know, and I believe she had been furloughed and stuff. So they, they were just, so I sent her the free workouts to try. I've sent that to a lot of people too. I've sent that to a lot of people. Yeah, because, I mean, all you have to have is the internet or your phone or, you know, mm -hmm. tablet, whatever. And, you know, and I was sharing those with people because of what's going on in the world right now. And you can easily get depressed or, you know, sad during this time. Or eat, eat, eat. Yeah, or, yeah, or emotionally eat or whatever. You're like, I'm home. No one's going to see me. Let me just go ahead and have these, you know, whatever. Um, so now it's like, and people are thanking me. Thank you for these, these workouts. And those who have kids, I've sent them the free yeah. workouts for kids. Because really, it's not even like you have to be on my team. It's I want to support you in whatever way that I can. And I know for me, support goes a long way. And that's what I love about being a part of this community is that, you know, I have a team where women have trusted me to try this, to get, to give me the opportunity to support them. And then I have coaches that I work with, you know, that are, you know, in charge of their own teams mm -hmm. and we build each other up. And, you know, I've been around women where they will bash you and talk about you and do whatever. Oh, yeah, you're a size 14. Ooh, like we, yeah, we can't hang out. Kind of thing. That's non-existent in the Beachbody family. I have yeah. I haven't seen that with anybody that I've run across. And that's one of the things that I loved about when I first joined. Like, my coach, obviously, is not my size. She's a lot smaller than me. Is that, is and, it Renee? Is, are you under Renee? Yeah, Renee. She's the person ever. Yeah. And, um, yes. and you know, there were days I wanted to quit. She was like, no, you're not quitting. Like, what are you doing, you know? And, um and then I just, you know, started just being real and just sharing my story, not trying to be like anyone else. I had to get out of the mindset that, you know, I would probably never be a size six or whatever. And I'm okay with that. I'm all about being healthy, mm -hmm. stronger, more confident, and just helping others. And um, it's one of the benefits that I've had from this is people who come back later and they message me and they're like, thank you so much. You know, thank you for pushing me mm -hmm. or, you know, like I just, they're like, you don't realize how inspiring your posts are. And then of course, I'm sure I have people who roll their eyes and are like, Oh, another workout post, whatever. They're cute. Some, of those I, uh... people, some of those people have come back to me though. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Melissa is a big poster anyway, and I'm a sometimey poster. And, you know, so I'm like, because when you tag me on Instagram, I'm like, I am not posted my pre-work. <laughs> I, I will post all day long in the app. <laughs> and see, and that's the, yeah, and that's the thing. The app, we have like this accountability group and people are like, thank you for this because you know, it makes you reflect and grow in your own journey. It mm -hmm. makes, you know, there are questions or how would you rate your workout? How was your nutrition? Are you exactly. drinking your water? Yes. And, you know, people don't realize, like people think, oh, it's like eight, $900. No. The fact that you can change your life for like $160 for a whole year. Now, it is optional to get your shakes. Mm -hmm. That's optional. Do they make a difference for me? Yeah, they do. For my digestive tract, it, it's the, the protein I'm getting from it. It's all natural. I love having the option of getting vegan or whey. I prefer vegan just because mm -hmm. that's my, my choice. Um, I love the fact that it, I didn't have like a big sugar craving, but it reduces that for sure. Because sometimes at school, when I'm in a school environment, after two o'clock, I'm like, oh my God, who has a Snickers bar? Or who has a Hershey's kiss? <laughs> I need some chocolate. But instead, my shakes, like my favorite 
flavors, chocolate, and I get the vegan chocolate, and I do natural peanut butter, spinach, so I'm getting my vegetables, mm -hmm. um, and I love the fact that it's all natural. And they're really good, actually. They're, um, I have had the chocolate vegan, um, pumpkin. I still have pumpkin right now. I love pumpkin. I'm just a pumpkin girl. I eat when, when <laughs> it's around, I'm eating everything pumpkin. Um, and now I have the cafe latte, which I really, really love. It has that natural coffee flavor. And then if you actually add a cup of coffee instead of water, it's like, woo! <laughs> I'm going to have to try that because I, I love it. Yeah. That one. With that one, I've done like the cinnamon dolce. And you're uh -huh. like, what? You get to drink a cinnamon no, dolce on this? Get pretty close yeah. to Starbucks. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, like, for example, you know, my stepdaughter, she brought home, she's like, oh, you should try this. And I, you know, a year ago, I probably been like, oh, yes, like, this is so great. But since I started doing the Cafe Latte Shakeology, I'm like, oh, girl, you need to get that. I, like, I can't. And um, it really changes how you treat your body, what you're putting in your body. And, um, you know, some people have said, well, it's so expensive. But if you do it for the month, it's the 30 day supply. Mm -hmm. If you're already going to Starbucks or if you're already going to, I don't know, Dunkin' Donuts or wherever to get your coffee, you're already spending, you know, over $2 every yeah. time you do that. And if you're a part of the loyalty program, it, it makes a difference. And you're looking at a, you know, about 90 something dollars a month for a 30 day supply, an average of three bucks a day. And actually with me, because I, I still like to have food in the morning, so I don't always do Shakeology. So mine lasts me probably a couple of months because I'm not doing it every day. So you just, like Melissa was saying, you just have to figure out what works best for you. If you drink it consistently, um, then yeah, you want it every month. But if you're like me, you might need it like every couple of months. So it's like my bag, I don't do it on the weekends. I normally mm -hmm. just do it Monday through Friday. Um, and I do it as a snack. So like, I still want like my eggs or whatever in the morning, my protein. Um, so I might have it at, at, for snack, like at two o'clock or something, especially now that I'm home every day with my son. So when he's having a snack, that's what I'll have. Okay. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, I can have, you know, chocolate, flavor like a Reese's Pieces you know with it and there's so many options to go with the shakes but what I love the most about them is how it makes me feel um and if you're someone that has stomach issues or you know your digestive tract is off or whatever um I can be the not can be the first but I can honestly say that when I don't have it that my stomach is like angry at me um, or I'll be honest, sometimes even like the bathroom issues <laughs> that has happened for me. But when I make my shakes with the spinach and stuff like that, I do the unsweetened almond milk. It really makes a difference for me and how my insides feel. And, you know, and it's, I don't only get the shakeology. I also get like the pre-workout, which is, you know, called the energize. And I tried yeah. that. Ooh. Yeah. You feel <laughs> kind of tingly at first. <laughs> You know, I'm about to crush a workout and, yeah. you know, it's all natural. So, like, people who drink, like, the Red Bull or, you know, whatever, to each his own, and I'm not bashing. But I was always nervous about trying that kind kind of stuff. But then, so I tried to energize before my workout. I was like, oh, wow. Like, and I could crush a workout. So it makes and, a big yeah. difference. Yeah. And sometimes the energize, I would even have in the afternoon. So not like not a coffee or any of that. One because it was just a natural caffeine or you know whatever for me. And one of the things I other things I'm thankful for is the recovery. So depending on the workout, my recovery reduces the muscle uh, soreness the next day. So like I found myself for um, like lift four, which involves weights. You know I needed to have that recovery because I would be sore. Or um, even sometimes the, for the program that I just finished, which was a six week program, 10 rounds, I was like, ooh, I probably should have had recovery today because it was three days of shadow boxing and two days of lifting. And, um, and then when I did bar, I did do the recovery because I wasn't used to working my legs <laughs> the way that I was in bar. 
and uh, I used a two weight, you know, pound or I'm the two fine. pound weights. And I'm like, why am I going to use a two pound? I'm so glad that I didn't go heavier because the two pounds got the best of me. My coach tried to do the five pounds. She's like, yeah, no. <laughs> and, um, and she's all about the weights and stuff. But really the benefits of doing this is you do what's best for you. If boxing is not for you, you have the option to do a dance workout. If you don't want to dance. And yeah. you know, I said, I did country heat. I would have <laughs> never, ever in my life have attempted to do any kind of country line dancing. And um, like, like you mentioned earlier, um, well, I started Beachbody last year. So January would have made my a full year for me. But I needed some out some additional help in the nutrition um, area. So I did a wellness program February, March, like for two months. And that really, in addition to Beachbody, because I have learned a lot from especially to be mindset about, you know, the two bunnies drinking your water and then veggies most. I have been exposed to vegetables that I just didn't, we didn't get growing up, you know, it just wasn't a part of our diet. So I have tried rutabagas and turnips. One of my favorite things, celery root, you can make a mash out of that. That is just almost about better than mashed potatoes. So I have, you know, picked up a lot of things from Beachbody, but I did need some extra accountability assistance with um, the eating. So I went through that. And now that I have both of them, like I know what I'm doing now, it's, um, it's made a huge, huge difference. So and I, I see it. <laughs> yeah. And actually let me show, I want to show some of Melissa's pictures. She's so good about posting. I'm like, eh, but then, <laughs> but that's why you have a coach because then she'll put stuff together and it's like, Oh, okay. It is actually working. <laughs> Cause I, I'm horrible. I'm like a scaled Nazi, um, which is what they kind of teach you in to be mindset. You know, she wants you to weigh every day, but you can't just base your results on the skill alone because you will get depressed. Because in my mind yesterday, I ate well, I had more vegetables than anything. And then, and I know I was under, I probably was under like 1800 calories. And then I get on the scale and I've gained two pounds and I'm like, there is no way. But you know, your body, I don't know if I didn't drink enough water yesterday. You can't base all of your um, results on the scale because you'll be depressed. So you have to look at your pictures, which I'm about to show you in inches. And then like Melissa said, you know, how are you looking at your clothes? How do you feel that, that those things probably weigh in more than the scale probably could ever. And then too, what I realized too, through the other program is we forget about muscle because when you build muscle, you're going to, that's putting extra pounds on the scale too. So there's all these different factors. And then if you're a woman, you know, your weight might fluctuate during your menstrual period. And if you're stressed out, your weight might, you know, you might retain more water or inflammation. So there's just so many other factors that the scale doesn't account for. Yeah. Well, I wanted to share, where am I? Some pictures. Did I just share the whole thing? Let me just share my screen. <laughs> I was doing, Melissa, let me know what you can see. I wanted to share some of her pictures that she had posted. On. Your desktop. Okay. The picture should be coming up. Because you can really, really see the results in the picture. So this is one of your posts. So this was from April of last year to April of now. Mm -hmm. And the same outfit. Same outfit, but you can tell the big difference. Smaller jeans, though. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. And here is another picture. And, and that those are good for me because that just puts them in. It gives me more perspective because I'm telling you, I was mad about the scale this morning. And <laughs> We were chatting about, I think the app, cause the app has, has been upgraded 
And then I was telling her that I was mad about the scale. And then she, I'm going to show you my pictures in a minute, but that's a good one. too. And can I say something? The ones, the last two pictures that you're showing, um, that was around the time that I had my surgery, the pictures on the left. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was around my accident time and everything. And then with me in the black with the coffee mug, that was like maybe two weeks after my surgery. Um, obviously I wasn't working out yet. I hadn't been working out. Um, I did try the step program, um, a little bit, but you know, I was not given 110% like I am now that I'm pretty much almost healed, not a hundred percent healed. But yeah, so like your pictures really, really show whether or not you're making progress. For me, it does. Not for everyone. Um, but yeah. No, it, it helped me today because I, I, I need because <laughs> um, I was mad. <laughs> I needed you to see those pictures. I told you. So this was mine. And this was, I um, do missions trips. Hold on. Okay. There it goes. I do missions trips. So that was from the, from November, December. And then this is from this last week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I can see a huge difference. Um, you know, so it's just, it's like a, I need a reminder that the scale is not the, the end all be all. <laughs> and you know, no. <laughs> the picture on the right with the yellow. So in our challenge and our team, we celebrated a spirit week last week and Kamisha was like amazing and everything. So we try to do virtual spirit, uh, spirit weeks and stuff. Um, so this was our first time trying it. And of course, Kamisha was like all in and, um, and actually I sent a package to you for being one, oh. of, the, the, one of the best participants. So you should be getting that this week. It went out on Friday. Thank you. Uh, and you know how awful I am about getting to the post office. <laughs> but you know, and that's the other thing, like I, I like to celebrate my challengers. Um, so, and I really try to, you know, in our message third, I try to, you know, praise them and, you know, congratulating them. But, you know, Kamisha, not only being my friend, the fact that she's trusted me to kind of help her or just motivate her, you know, in her journey um, makes me happy or brings me joy to know that, you know, I would like to think I made some kind of a difference, whether it was me sharing my journey and that inspired her to try something or, um, you know, me kind of being like the stalking, like not stalking. I'm not going to say you stalking. Stalk, you know, like, well, stalk. it's, more like, it's more of like, how's it going? Checking in on the message thread. And, you know, and I opened the opportunity for the ladies on my team to, you know, reach out and have a one-to-one -one conversation, phone call, FaceTime, whatever it is. Um, but you know, she's found something that works for her and that included her seeing a nutritionist and, and focusing on the, the nutrition piece, which is big. It's 80% of your journey really. Um, and you know, when you combine it with working out and healthier recipes and stuff, not depriving of yourself, not depriving yourself, um, that it's doesn't about work. moderation. Yeah, that doesn't and work. Beachbody definitely educates you. It, it gives you, let me tell you this. It gives you the tools you need to learn. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have articles, you have blogs to follow, you have coaches. I mean, you have a lot. Yes. <laughs> and that was a mindset where, you know, if you're not someone who wants to work out, that program is excellent to be mindset, but it does have wiggle room for if you do work out and combine the to be mindset. Because not everyone is made for working out, and that's okay. So don't be discouraged if, okay, well, I can't run a mile. I can't walk a mile. But it's really, the nutrition piece is really 80% of you being healthier. So like to be mindset, definitely it's their educational videos, their yeah, cooking videos and stuff like that. It definitely educates you and there are actually recipes that you can cook. <laughs> oh, not yeah. Awesome. I mean, her really, and, and it's, it's like, like you said, you started, well, you're in a two, uh, what, two and a half years now. I'm in one and moving my way to a one and a half, but it really is a journey. Like at first I was maybe the first couple of months I was all in and then I slacked off 
and then I'm all in and I slack off and my weight's still going up and down. But regardless of that, I was absorbing information. It just took time for me to be like, okay, I'm, I'm all in now. Um, and it just, it took the, to be mindset. It took 21 day fix, um, country heat, you know, it just took a combination and now Elise and I love these cards. I absolutely love the cards. Um, and I feel like she's like my pastor too sometimes because I'm like, that's what pastor said the other day. <laughs> I feel like she's ministering to my soul too, when she got those working like, out. Crazy Moshi, crazy Moshi for sure. So, yeah. uh. I mean, I just think it's a great resource. Like you said, it's a great tool. Um, and even if you have to do something else to combine it, it's a great tool to help you get to where you you need and want to be. So I'm, I'm thankful for it. And like I said, I was, the, I was one of the main people saying, I'm never going to work out at home. <laughs> now I can't even imagine not like going to a gym. I'll be like, hell no, I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> And now too, like I know most gyms, they do a great job in trying, you know, keeping it clean and mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. But what I really like is having the flexibility. Yeah, that's it. I'm not driving. I'm getting in the car to go. We'll do what? I'm gonna do it downstairs. Anytime oh, I want to. to yeah, and, and that's the great thing. Any time of day, because like Melissa said, I um now I'm a little bit more consistent. I'm an early bird, so if I need to do stuff in the morning, but some mornings it's like I just feel crappy and I didn't want to work out right then. But it's like now it's like almost a little addiction like I'm going to work out at some point today yes. even if yes. it's five o'clock but because you have everything on the app you can work out I when I first started just to be accountable and just to do it for that day I would work out at 11 30 I was like you know if I'm like I have been struggling trying to work out all day and I was like okay if I still work out at 11 30 I'm still gonna hit the app in time so <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's a great tool great accountability um all of the coaches are great um like melissa said um before melissa had her own like she's always been a coach but before you had your own like little group now that we have a, we separated uh renee and her group everybody's just so loving and you can think that you look the craziest ever because most of the time it's early in the morning and you have on your workout gear you're not made up and i'm just i'm just now finding out that workout clothes are cute before i would wear any and everything so now yes. i'm like buying leggings and stuff you know that i like to look nice when i work out now because i care but the, you know nobody cares you can look crazy and I, you know, you can be very honest in your post. Like I did not want to work out today and they would laugh at me because they're like, you're so honest. I was like, I hated working out today, but I finished it. So, um, it's just, it's really, really good. I love it. So let's talk about, um, how everything works. So, and the cost can vary, right? Depending on if there, you guys are doing a promotion, but I think you're right. It can be, I think when I came in, I paid a hundred, but I think it was during a promotion, but it can range from, and then last year, I think, or this year, I think I paid 130. So anywhere from 130 to 60, is that like the normal price? So the basic package with the one year access to like, I call it like a Netflix library it is. right now. <laughs> we currently have like 1400 workouts. Um, different programs you know amazing trainers and we have a very diverse uh selection from dancing to low impact yoga even like the brazilian butt lift whatever you want it's there and if you're really um gung-ho about something like p90x well that's an option um so in the 160 package you get the one year access you get 200 plus recipes from breakfast, lunch, desserts, uh, vegan. Um, it's a good mix. If I type in chicken, it's going to give me all the exactly. recipes for chicken. So, and you can actually download those recipes. But if you're familiar with Google Drive, save them into Google Drive. Oh, I Drive. do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. So then you just go back to that and you can just pull it up from there or print it off when you go to the grocery store to make your list. Um, so anyway, 
So you'll get the one year access, you'll get a 30 day supply of shakes or the per performance pack, which is your pre-workout um, supplement and your post-workout supplement. Your energize is what kind of boosts you, gets you going before you work out. Your recovery is what you would drink after within 30 minutes of your workout to reduce soreness. Mm -hmm. So you have those two options now. You'll always get the one year access to the workouts and to the recipes and everything. You'll always have a coach to support you, an accountability group. Um, you will always have all of that. The only difference is um, what they're called is a challenge pack. So for example, you might buy the bar challenge pack. Well, you're gonna get all the accessories yeah. that come from bar, which Kamisha showed like the card. These are um, affirmation cards that come in with your kit. And every day there's something positive. I am hopeful, I am happy, I am joyful. And they're really great to read um, before your workout. The other option, like I currently, well, I'm getting ready to start round two of 10 rounds, which is a shadow boxing um, workout program and weightlifting or lifting weights. So with that one, you're not gonna get the affirmation cards like Kamisha got. You're gonna get the bands, you're gonna get a nutrition guide, which, and then recipe, some recipes that come with that program. And um, so everything that you would need to do 10 rounds. So the only thing is diff that's different too, along with the supplements is it depends on what program you buy. So let's say you pick the bar program. Once you pick the bar, it doesn't mean you don't have access to everything else. That's just what's called your challenge pack. It is the best option because you get your shakes with it mm -hmm. and all the accessories. So normally when you go to Beachbody, you'll see a $99 membership. What you don't get with the $99 membership is the shakes or, uh -huh. so you, don't, you don't get the shakes or the performance pack, um, which is your energize and stuff. Um, you don't get the accessories that come with the current uh, workout program. So like 10 rounds right now is our biggest uh, program that was just launched and available for everybody to purchase. Um, you don't get access to that with the $99 package. So when Kamisha said that when she registered or signed up, there was a sale going on which for To Be Mindset. And normally To Be Mindset is um, about $220. Mm -hmm. It's a different program than the challenge um, pack programs. So, but she actually, I think when she signed up, she got it. It was last year too. It was yeah, last it was, year. Yeah. It was January. It was 180. So she mm -hmm. had $40 off. Yeah. But she got the two, everything that she needed for to be mindset along with the year workouts and mm -hmm. the whole bag of shakes. Those shakes, if I do it five days a week, that they last me six to seven um, weeks. And then, um, the too. yeah, you can buy the packets. You can mix up your packets where you can get like uh, strawberry and chocolate, whatever you want. Or there's like a cafe box. It's got a mixture of stuff too. Um, so the average cost for a challenge pack would be 160. Sometimes the coaches get promo codes where you get $10 off. So you might pay 150. You still get the one-year access, the shakes or the performance um, pack, whatever accessories for that program. Yeah, some people do want to do the $99 one, but please keep in mind that when you do the $99 one, you don't get the shakes, 30-day supply, or the performance pack, and you do not get accessories for whatever program you start. What happens, most people, like right now, is VIP access for 10 mm -hmm. rounds. And what that means is, so like Kamisha is not doing 10 rounds, she's doing bar. So she does not have access to 10 rounds. But if she decides, okay, next month, I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 rounds, she gets VIP access because it's not gonna be available to everybody until like October. So we always encourage our new challengers to do the newest yeah. program that's out. Because if not, you'll have to wait like another three to five months for it. Um, and then she mentioned like the 130, the $100, $130. Those are what's called a completion pack. What that means is if you already have um, like a membership 
to um, BOD or to Beach Body On Demand, you actually can get a new workout program plus a shake and for one thirty. Yeah, for one thirty. Yeah. Um, some people who are like twenty days out from renewing their membership. It's like, you might as well just get a challenge pack so that you can go ahead and get your shakes and everything and still get a one year, mm -hmm. um, access to everything. But like we said, you can download the recipes so that you have those forever. You will always have a coach to support you along your journey, which to me in my world, that's big to have that accountability. That's because what I'm gonna be honest, accountability. Yeah. Some, some days I'm like, oh my God, they already worked out this morning. Oh, <laughs> let me get up and work out. And, you know, I was never the girl that wanted to get up at four thirty, five o'clock to work out, but guess what? That's who I am now. And it becomes a habit. It becomes, it, you become disciplined. Now I will admit, admit, um, because I don't have to get up at four thirty right now. I am not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now Friday, because I had to go into the office because I needed to, my monitor wasn't working. I did have to get up. I think I got up at like five and I was like, man, but I was, ha I knew that I needed to get it done before I got, before I left the house. Because when I came back home, I was like, I'm not doing this, you know, <laughs> in the land of traffic, which is not bad right now anyway. But I say that. And then at 11 o'clock, I was like, I'm going to do one of these 10 minute enha enhancements. So I did like a 10 minute enhancement. <laughs> It just becomes a part of your life. Like, it's like, I love it. And I really don't think I would ever, I mean, not to be negative, I don't find myself ever going back to a gym. Uh, I have everything that I need at home. I can put it on my fire stick. If you have a Roku, you can put it on that. Yeah. If, you, if you have an iPad, some kind of tablet, smart device, your TV, um, you can just do it there. I take it when I go on vacation. Travel, yeah. Um, yeah, when I travel, yeah. I'm not taking a bunch of weights and stuff with me. I'm not, or if I'm in a hotel, I'm not working out in that, you know, that gym. Although the space is great. Um, I don't use their equipment. I might just go in there just to work out. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the other great benefits is, you know, in my opinion, like, so I didn't know anything about, um, planning as far as like what you should eat and meal prepping and stuff like that. And I read up on some articles within Beachbody um, and then just meal prepping and meal planning on a budget yep. because we all know when we, I'll be honest, I think for me anyway, when you're changing to healthier things, we do, I realize that it's more, it's more expensive. In the beginning it is, but I think, yeah. I think as you, as that becomes your new lifestyle, I think the cost kind of starts to go back to normal, but yeah, definitely trying to get new things in the beginning. Yeah. It is a little bit more expensive and then to find stuff. Like I was like, what is the darn celery root and where am I going to find a celery? Root? <laughs> so I, yeah. I was on a mission. I was going to every grocery store because I was determined to find this celery root, celery root that Alana kept talking about. And yeah. finally, I just Googled it because I couldn't find it. And it was at Sprouts. And I was so mad at myself because I'm going every other place and it's at Sprouts. So, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So, yeah. Like, and, you know, and I always ask people, well, do you think that you're worth it? Are you worth changing your lifestyle are you worth putting up 160 dollars for a whole year you know what, what is what is your purpose and you know my purpose for doing this is i want to be stronger i want to be healthier i want to feel better and as i'm mm -hmm. getting older you know i have those are things that i really have to think about mm -hmm. my only regret that i have is um i wish i had started sooner yeah me too me too and I'm glad that my coach didn't give up on me. And, um, you know, I just, and even through my, my hard days, you know, when, um, like for example, you, you know, my brother-in-law just passed away and, you know, my team sent me flowers. They all reached out and it was like a whole nother family. And, um, you know, so while my family was grieving, I had the, all that support and, you know, I will be honest, you know, my brother-in-law passed, I, really didn't want to work out but seeing the support and love from my team and feeling it 
you know, it kind of motivated me to, you know, do something that you can control. You don't want to disappoint them. You, it gets to the point. I'm at the point now where I need to show up because I don't want to disappoint the people in our, <laughs> you know. People you, look for Kamisha. People are looking for Kamisha because they're like, she, you know, and, and they tell me, they're like, you know, Kamisha is, you know, a beautiful person. Like, she just seems really genuine. And I'm like, she is. Like, that's who she is. And, you know, people look forward to hearing from you. And like you said, you're just honest and people need to know like my, our journeys are not perfect. You're going to wake up saying, I'm not doing crap today. I'm going to stay in bed. Guess what? You get to make your own schedule. Yeah. You get to decide, okay, well, I'm going to make Tuesday an off day and I'll work out on Saturday instead. Yeah. And that's the yeah thing. I've done that plenty of times because my body was like, yo, we <laughs> not today. today. <laughs> Not today. And, uh, and, and, you know, and there are days that I did with migraines and stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. And sometimes I find when I do a workout, it does reduce my migraine mm -hmm. and it's definitely a stress reliever and uh, it, it definitely makes a difference in my day because some people will probably be like, please go work out because you're be mean or this or that and, you know you could take your frustration out on your weights or whatever. or just trying just the energy especially when you're doing a new program when I started bar just my focus my attention I had to have so much focus to follow <laughs> with what Elise was doing and um <laughs> and, I, and I'm not married right now but you know eventually that's coming and I will tell you the thought that I've had about bar blend. Um, and I, I, I can say I'm celibate. I'm not having sex. But I was like, these moves look like that would help you in that department. So, <laughs> oh, my God. I promise you, Melissa. I was like, oh, my God. I think these will help in the bench. <laughs> mind this is what I'm thinking when we're doing some of the stuff on the floor I'm like this has got to help in that department but anyway <laughs> or the one where you're like this yeah yeah it's a, and I'm saying like it's totally a game changer and the fact that you have control of what you're gonna do what workout you're gonna do your schedule your recipes your options it's not like you have to eat this and this and only this. Mm -mm. And that's the, one of the great benefits of this, um, this opportunity. So let me ask you as far as, because when you do a lot of posts, I see Elijah with you a lot of the time. How has this affected him or changed his mindset about working out and food and nutrition? Um, some days he'll say to me, well, mom, I need to get healthy. I need to eat healthier because he'll see me doing it. And I really try to instill those practices um, in him now. Um, and especially more so now because he's not able to play baseball with his team. Um, he does do some of the kid workouts or even, uh, you know, I'll talk about it, Go Noodle that his school had, had shared with us and they're dancing and, you know, working out. Um, there are some days he's like, well, mommy, I'm gonna work out with you. He might only work out with me for like two or three minutes but it's the fact that he wants to do it because mm -hmm. he seems to be doing it. Um, one of the biggest benefits of having him around um, sometimes is when I want to quit, I see him and I remember why I'm doing this. But my favorite is when he says, mommy, you're almost done. You got this. Because so, some of the workouts have the timer in the corner, mm -hmm. you know, say like five Ooh. minutes or whatever. And I'm like, and sometimes they'll push me to work harder. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I can do this. But I don't like to quit in front of him. And there have been times that I have. But I always say to him, you know, it got really hard for mommy, but I'm going to try it again. And, you know, because I don't want him to think he has to be perfect and that mommy's perfect. It's, I'm going to pause this for a minute. I need to get some water. I need to regroup for two minutes and then I'm going to get up and try it again. And he's honestly my biggest fan. Probably um, when I was at a gym, he didn't get to see mommy working hard mm -hmm. or working out. And um, 
because I like being able to show him. And now there are some days he'll get up before I start my workout or he'll be like, did you work out yet? Like he holds me accountable <laughs> and I love that. And um, some days I'll put on my workout clothes. Um, he's like, are you getting ready to work out? He's like, okay, good. You know? And so Yes, I do love my alone time, but then some of the days where I need that reminder, it's like he knows when I need it, and it's great to have that. Um, and I share that in my story. I share that in my journey that I share, you know, publicly, because it shows that you can do this with kids at home or without kids. It's doable. I'm someone who works full time, and as an educator... Yeah. I can't be a good educator without taking care of me. And if I'm always tired and you would think working out would make you tired, but it actually does the opposite. It does the opposite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I need to work out in the morning because if I work out at night, I am up. Yes. <laughs> and you're exhausted the next day. <laughs> yes. Yes. I agree. And I found myself the later that I was making it, I didn't really give 110% because yeah. people would say to me or ask me, well, how do you get up that early? I said, the first thing I do, I think about is how I want to feel for the day or that morning. And, um, you know, before I flew out, like I said, flew out to Miami, I wanted to feel okay before I got there. And, um, you know, I worked out for 30 minutes and <laughs> took my shower and went. And I think your body is like a machine. It will do what you train it to do. I mean, literally it will. Like if you, um, you know, when I was go actually having to go to work, like you said, my body was trained. Okay, we get up at 4.30. Even when I didn't set the alarm clock, my body was like, we're up because this is what, you know, I have trained it to do. It doesn't happen overnight, but the more consistent you are, eventually you will get there to where you're just automatically doing stuff because that's what your body expects for you to do. Uh, yeah. And you can do this program as many times as you want, like the 21 day. Yeah, page. I love there that. People, I couldn't people, call that last year. <laughs> there are people who do that program and it's three weeks, 30 minute workouts. Mm -hmm. People do that six times. Yeah. You know, so what is that? Uh, you know, 126 days. Yeah. So, you know, is that right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it happens and you, the, you get to pick what you want to do and what works for you. What works for you may not work for me and that's okay. Yeah. And there are so many, and the thing that I love about Beachbody too, like, um, you can, you can go in there and pick like, Hey, I'm, I don't feel well this week. I don't want to do a lot, but I still want to work out. So you can pick the different levels. You can do like beginner, intermediate, and then it'll show you how hard it is. Like one of the thing, one of my go-to things is like when I feel crappy, I do clean week. And there's one workout that I thought was so easy, but I sweat like crazy. And I'm like, it's just... <laughs> It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> like, hold up. What did I say? Yeah. yeah. That's like when I don't feel good week, that's what I go to because at least I'm doing something. Um, yeah. But now I'm, um, I think after country heat, because I was so, I think I was scared to try anything outside of 21 day fix. Well, I try, I told you I tried morning meltdown. I was like, Kamisha's not ready. She's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Day. Yeah, so I had to uh, change to another program. Um, so then I was like, I wanted something. I wanted to try the dance program because I'm uh, not like a, I don't think I'm a natural dancer. So I have to be taught, like, you got to show me what to do. And I love that program because um, Autumn just made it so easy to learn the dances. And sometimes you did think you were crazy, but after you kept doing it consistently, it was like you finally get the hang of it. So I finished that and then I started bar blend. So it's, I like, I like being able to say I finished a program instead of jumping all around. So I believe I may try morning meltdown after this. I don't know. Cause that's, and, that's and, the good, and the good thing is too, with like morning meltdown, you actually have three options. You have the, full oh, intent, <laughs> but the full intense, you know, from the trainer. And then you had two modifiers. So like me who had surgery on my shoulder, there were some moves I just couldn't do. So I ended up doing the modified burpees and, 
you know, but you know what? My body worked just as hard. So when you see modifications or the modifiers on there, don't think it's not, it's not working. No, it's hard. It's still hard. <laughs> definitely sweat. I know like for 10 rounds, there are, real, there are a few modified moves for that, but I'm sweating. It's literally 10 rounds. And um, it's like by round four, round five, like the sweat is drenching. Um, I did find myself doing maybe the modified moves occasionally, but I was still drenched with sweat. So, I, you know, I'm just all about, you know, if, if you, you have to realize that you're made for more and you have to be fully committed. It's yeah, not going to happen it's overnight. Now. <laughs> you can do it. I know I can't, but I wasn't committed at that time. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm thinking after a bar, you should maybe get yeah, another Yeah, I think so, too. I was just like, um, and now I've lost, you know, I've lost some weight. So, um, as you lose weight, it's easier and build more muscle. It's easier to do some of the moves because you don't have as much weight on you. Um, I think I did, I posted a Friday, you know, the, um, stretch where you lift your, um, your leg behind man last year, I couldn't, I could barely do that. But now I'm like, look, I can give out my leg all the way. <laughs> yeah. And those are things to celebrate. And that's one yeah. thing that we do in our group. Like, you know, you do try to celebrate, the little things. It's not about, okay, well, I didn't lose my 60 pounds yet. Who cares? I know. Did you, and, and maybe, you know, you have a 30 minute workout. Maybe the first month you only did the first 15 minutes, but by the end you're rocking the 30 minutes. That Those are things that you celebrate. And um, that's, I mean, that's all you can do. It's all about baby steps. And one thing I do encourage people to do is take their before and after measurements and pictures because I think we're our hardest critic and we yep, don't realize how much we've accomplished. So, you know, what I did for Kamisha, I sent her a picture. Okay. This is where you were then look at where you are now. And that was like a reality check. Cause I, I like Melissa said, I am my, I am the hardest critic. Um, and she's, I'm, I'm one of those people like, oh, I haven't lost this much weight yet, you know? <laughs> So I, I just, I am learning to trust the process. And oh that's my what it is. It's a process. I don't like, you have I don't to be just like the process. I would rather be <laughs> easy like now. <laughs> and now, but then like when people see their results, you're like, oh, dang, you know, I, I did this. Okay. I'm ready for the next, um, the next, uh, task. And that's how I feel right now. Okay, I just finished 10 rounds and I liked my results. And I'm going to do a second round starting tomorrow with other people who have signed up to do 10 rounds. So I want to support them. But the good thing is being a part of our accountability group, we all don't have to do the same workout. No. Nope. You know, you have people doing morning meltdown. You have people doing bar. You have people doing 10 rounds. It's or you can do a lot too if you want to you yeah. know if you want to break from doing a beach body workout on demand you can go walk or do something outside too and that still you can still track that and let you log it in the um app so that's cool too yeah. and it's I all about moving really too. yeah yep and supporting each other hey way to knock out that walk so like my sister-in-law she does some of the programs so she's doing slim and six right now and i'm like okay and then she's like oh i walked so yesterday is the first time well we've walked before but yesterday we walked and next day i know we had like fifteen thousand steps so i'm like oh my god like i can't do this but i'm more of like morning meltdown morning you know the other intense workouts but walking is just as can be challenging depending on where you're walking she had me do a few hill hills and my calves are feeling it today and i'm like are you kidding me right now i didn't have my recovery with me i didn't have energized before like i didn't have any of that it was all natural which was great um normally when i walk i'll do two miles but we did 6.4 and i felt it this morning i felt it somewhat last night after my shower and i was just like oh my god I will not walk with you again. So basically the goal is you just want to encourage people to just be active. You know, you don't have to, what, you know, people used to think you, you have to spend two hours in a gym. 
to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish when you go to the gym. I'm telling you, the workouts, you have anywhere between 20 minutes to 40 minute workouts, even if um, you're going to break a sweat and yeah, you're you going will. to see the results. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I love having, yeah, the option where I'm, I'm not having to be in front of the TV or tablet for an hour and a half to get my results. I could do 30 minute workouts for three weeks and I'm going to get results. Yeah. 10, 10, 20 minute. You still get, yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. I look like, I look like I came out of the gym <laughs> two hours, <laughs> but yeah, definitely worth it. No, Melissa does a great job with her videos. I was like, Oh, she's so cute. I'm like, <laughs> I just refuse to post on Instagram or Facebook right now. I haven't made it there yet. Um, but she does. That's why she's a coach. I'm not. Um. <laughs> I wish you would, because you are amazing. But no, it's not my time. Not my time. Um, I won't say never, because I won't. I learned not to say what I want. No, I, I'll never do. But um. and, that's, and that's the other thing. Like with the coaching piece, like I honestly did the coaching piece, just the loyalty program for the discounts, and. Um, and I was tracking what I've done in the last two and a half years as a coach. And one of the other benefits is, you know, I do make some income from it. And as most educators, a lot of us have that extra, you know, whether you're tutoring or doing whatever. And I really didn't want to do that anymore. So I was like, well, I'll explore this option. I'll really dig in. And so I will say my first year, the first five months of me working, it was like from August to December. I made like 120 something dollars. That's it. I didn't take it seriously. I just really wanted the discounts. I didn't yeah. care. <laughs> and, um, you know, going into a full year, 2018, I made a little over a thousand. I still didn't take it seriously. I was like, oh, you want a challenge back? Okay, whatever. Then 2000, where are we? 2019, I, you know, made a little bit over 2000. Well, here we are four months into this year. I'm already like 450 something dollars shy of meeting 2000 in four Yay. months. So it's really all about what you put into it. So mm -hmm. if I already made close to what I made in a year in four months, imagine what the next eight months are going to be for me. Yeah. And it's not even about making income. It's really just about sharing my journey and hopefully it's inspiring you. And, um, you know, that's really my purpose with that. I mean, if I'm going to share my journey, why not make extra money too? Hey, I you mean, know, from it, and, you know, extra couple hundred dollars doesn't hurt. And, no, not at all. You know, imagine what you could do with an extra two to $300 a month. You know, that could be your groceries or your car payment or whatever. Um, so I just, some days I'm like, oh, I did that, you know? No, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised just as consistent are you as you are with your post. I, I'm not surprised at all. Um, I actually have an eBay side hustle that I'll have to talk to you about later. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that too. Yeah. It's be like I was supposed to go to Louisiana this year as a coach for Summit, which is an amazing event with Beachbody. As a coach, you have a, you're invited to go. And you meet all these other coaches. You get to work out in live with the trainers and stuff. And this year, it was in Louisiana. I'd already gotten my ticket, but my plane ticket and everything. And we just got notification that it's canceled. Yeah. Um, and that sucks. And but I totally understand. Um. And and Beachbody was great with giving back our money. You know, the, the airlines they credit you, which is fine. Cause I'm sure I'm gonna fly somewhere else one day, mm -hmm. and they're giving it to you for two years. So it's not like I have to use it in six months because I'm not ready to fly in six months again anyway. But Beachbody is really all about supporting you. And, um, you know, when I had to have that surgery last summer, I had bought my summit ticket and that was in Indianapolis. And I was sad about missing that. But because of my medical situation, they reimbursed me for that too. Awesome. Yeah. So they're all about rewarding their coaches, their challengers. And, um, you you get 
it's it definitely benefits you in every area of your life. Oh yeah, I, I agree. It's it's been great. Um, I'm I'm so happy that I got out of my comfort zone, as you said earlier, and decided to um, try it out. And I don't, I honestly, I don't see, unless there's some kind of specialty class, I don't see myself going back to a gym, um, to be honest, so. And I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. No, I appreciate you. I'm proud of you too. Um, <laughs> so, That's why you give your little packet in the next day or two. Whenever yeah, you know I'm just, you. now I'm all in. Like I said, I was harassing her about the app or the um, new group. <laughs> And now you're like, give me a hard time. <laughs> no, because I know I need to do it. It helps. It's my accountability piece for me now. So um, yeah. trying to, oh, last, so last question. Um, well, maybe last two. And I, I didn't, I didn't keep up with the time. So I know this video may be a little long, but yeah. you guys are at home. I'm talking to our audience. You guys are at home. You else to do so you can just listen to it <laughs> um so last two questions if people want to join your team what do they need to do okay so you could do a couple things um the easiest way would be um you can shoot me an email i have a beachbody account um I also have an Instagram account that you can follow and kind of explore to see if it's something that you're worth, that you want, if you think it's worth exploring. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and give you my email. Or do you, I can also post it in the description if you're okay with that. Okay, great. Yeah, you can totally do that. So you can email me and Kamisha will put that information for you. And I'll, I will also give her my name for my Instagram account to follow. Um, in the Instagram account, you're going to find um, my stories with that include workouts, that includes um, my posts, my transformations, and you know, stuff like that. Um, you can message me on that. I also have a Facebook page um, that has just only my um, workouts and just information about Beachbody and you know stuff like that so I will give all that information to Kamisha and she can post that the link or whatever she needs to do um, and just know that when you if you decide to reach out to me there's no obligation if you just have questions and you you're just unsure about some things that's what I'm there for or what I'm here for um, and please know that you don't have to share your journey on social media you don't have to be a part of the um the accountability group if you are if, are someone that just wants like hey girl i just i just want the one-year access i want the workouts i want the recipes i want my month of shakes or whatever and we never talk again that's totally up to you you do have that right you have that option i don't want you to feel like you and i have to become best friends um but my purpose really is to support you so if you just feel more comfortable shooting me an email saying, hey, I'm unsure, I have a question, tell me about this portion control stuff, tell me about this recipe, that's what I'm there for. Okay. So. Awesome, awesome. So I will include, um, and as I always tell everybody on my videos, uh, this is all very new for me. Uh, you know, I know people have the more, uh, savvy YouTubers have all these backdrops and I have not made it to that point yet. I am, um, this is really a God thing for me. I know he told me to start a channel. So I just started a channel and it's just like, kind of like Beachbody. I'm just kind of doing it and seeing what happens. Uh, I am very about life skills. You know, if you can give people information that's going to help them in their everyday life, then that's what I want to do. And this, this is something, you know, um, health and exercise via online is something definitely that could potentially help you or just something that you should know about. It's an option. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to have a personal trainer. You could get everything that you need via Beachbody On Demand app. So just an option for you guys. Wanted to let you know about it. Uh, it's, it's, it's done wonders for Melissa and I, as, as you can tell, and other people that we know. 
So I will include the information in the description below. Thank you. I call her Ladybug. Thank you, Ladybug, for um, participating <laughs> me. I know this is probably long. I don't know how long it is. But like I said, you guys don't have anything else to do, so you can listen to us talk. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday. Stay safe. Please wear your mask if you're going out. Um, just, you know, protection, PPE gear. I think they still consider that PPE gear, too. So be safe, and uh, we will see you, or I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Appreciate it. Of course. Bye. Bye-bye. Stop. Hold on. <laughs>